All right, well, I only have one more shot at this because apparently my last video poofed. I don't know where it went. I have no idea where it disappeared to, but it, it's gone. So I uploaded video of the roughly how to, how I do my templates to create, like I'm over here, things like this so I can reuse these to trace onto my work. Um, so, in the video I covered the gist of piece of wood, cardboard in between, piece of wood, tape it together, call it a day. I also did a cut and showed the end result, but again, that video seems to have so today I'm on my last bat, and good thing that I still have a bat to do to show you. So these, you can see right here, there's cardboard stuck between. Blue painter tape is together. This is actually the easiest pattern I have. If you wanted to do another cardboard template, I don't know why you would, put it to the bottom if you wanted instead of in between. I like in between because you don't get any tear. Uh, it doesn't have to match up flush, as you can see, as long as you have a flat surface on the right side to help with your finger alignment with your hands. So basically, I'm going to cut this one. I also have you at a new angle, so I don't know if this is... Oh, it's actually better than that. You can actually see what I'm cutting. I'm also working with interior lighting versus... Only have because, well, they're doing work wherever with saws, so I'm going to be looking for that. Got to be the door. Now, one thing also to note when doing this is your saw will sound louder because you are cutting plastic, uh, not plastic, uh, cardboard. So, you're going to get a different sound than normally would. Cutting, you need to go slow anyway because you have let the blade catch up and cut it to two Currently using a number of five blades to ultra reverse line and dodge. thing as you're cutting, don't just chop out here and take this chunk off. You want to try and go in the front. So that way you can kind of pop this out and hold everything in place. If you just start cutting chunks out, this gets really flat. You'll notice me a lot of clamping when I notice it moving. And since I just taped this, I'm actually holding my fingers against the sides and bottom where I know I have a 90. So that way I can keep them flush with each other so they don't shift left or right. If for any reason these pieces are shifting, 
then carpet tape works. You can throw in a little dab of super glue, hot glue, whatever you want to kind of stick them together. That peels off because you're going to glue it in the, um, the negative space anyway. I actually botched up the pattern when I was designing this. Well, not designing it, but tracing it from a template from one of the magazines I had. And as you can see, this one's longer than, well, this one. So, whatever, when it's up in a tree, no one's gonna notice. If for any reason you feel delicate pieces like this start lifting on you when you're stack cutting, don't be afraid to have your finger behind. You don't want to be too close because if you, it breaks that can hurt like hell, but if you're holding back here, it's not so bad. If it does break, it's just going to squish. Slightly bad advice, but you know, experience I have yet to get impaled. Slight premature turn, but yeah, you know, it's out into the negative space here, so I can actually come back and take that out before removing the template. I can actually backtrack if I wanted to remove that. I personally don't care. My motto is lines are a suggestion unless it's a really, really thin fret. Alright, now the fun part, oh, knife, this part, cabbage, this part, Part, which 
just looks really cool. that we were cutting, the one that has the template on it. Yep. There's number one. This just looks like one of those store thingies where you assemble them. that you can reuse and your stack cuts and I'm gonna start. okay so um, yep yeah, that's hopefully helpful enjoy